In this example, we have to find the Thevenin's equivalent. So here we can see there is only one independent source that is 72 volt voltage source. This is the bridge network. The terminals given here, see, uh, remember that you have to note down the terminals properly. So here it is A, here it is B. So to find RTH, this becomes easy because it involves only independent sources. That means now voltage source will be shorted. After shorting this voltage source, what happens is these both will be having the same potentials. Okay, this both having the same potentials. Now, to find out the Thevenin's equivalent that is from this position, we have to remove this resistor. I'll mark this as C, this as B, this as A. So, A and B, we can write it. Here, I will write C. So, in between A and C, we have 12 ohm resistor. Again, we have 4 ohm resistor. 12 and this is 4. Between B and C, we again have two resistors. One is 6, another one is 3. So, the resultant of this will be 2 ohms. This one is 4 into 12 divided by 16. So, this is 3 ohms. So, this combination is 3 ohms. In between these two, we can see these are in series. So, 3 plus 2 is 5 ohms. So, RTH will be equal to 5 ohms. Now, to find out the open circuit voltage, what we will do is, once again, we will open this and we will place this 72 volt voltage source. Now, we have this as C and this we have C, D. We have to find this voltage plus minus VTH because A is here, B is here. So, this is higher potential, this is lower potential. Okay. So, we have to find this voltage now. So, for that, what we can do is, we can write the circuit like this. This is 6. This is 12, here we have 3, here we have 4, right? So, here we have to measure it. So, this is 72 volts. Since this is 72 volts, we can say that across this combination also it is 72 volts. Across this combination also it is 72 volts. Because these are in parallel. And you know that the voltage remains same when they are connected in parallel. So, here can we uh, find out the voltages across this using the voltage divider rule? Yes. So, we are concerned with this voltage that is plus minus VTH. So, we need either this or this part. So, I will find out the voltage across 6 and the 12 ohm. So, voltage across 6 ohm that will be 72 into 6 divided by 6 plus 3 9. So, this is 48 volts. Voltage across 12 ohm is 72 into 12 divided by 12 plus 4 that is 16. So here we can write 4 3s are 4s are and here we have 18. Right? 4 18s are. So 18 3s are we have 54 volts. So this is 54. This is 48. Here we have plus and minus VTH. Okay? So here I will write it properly. We are going to measure this. Plus minus VTH. This is plus minus 48. This is plus minus 54. Now if I apply the KVL in this loop. Okay, I will come in this direction. Since I am getting plus first, I am taking it as minus 48. Since I am getting minus plus, minus first, I am taking plus VTH. Minus first, so plus 54 equal to 0. VTH is equal to minus 6 volts. Okay, VTH is equal to minus 6 volts. So to write down the Thevenin's equivalent, this is A and B, okay, VTH is minus 6 volts, that means A is at negative, uh, negative potential, okay, so A is at negative potential, so this is RTH, so here we can take it as 6 volts, That means minus 6 volts. So, since minus is there, I am taking minus first plus next. Okay. So, this is the Thevenin's equivalent.